The story of purpose. So not the story of the purpose in your life, or your friend's life, or your family's life, but the story of purpose itself. Who created purpose? When was purpose created? Where does purpose come from and how do we achieve purpose? Because I believe that when we understand what purpose is, we will be able to attain it. And when we attain purpose, anything is possible. So who created purpose? Let's go all the way to the start. So the person or the one who created everything is Allah, God. So henceforth Allah created this divine, special feeling of purpose. And that's powerful. Purpose is possible. Because what if purpose didn't exist? What would we do? Would you have came to this event? No. Because this event wouldn't have even been planned. This university wouldn't even have been created. And the very road that you came on to get here wouldn't have been paved. And that is a powerful concept to try and understand. So where would we be if purpose didn't exist? And that is quite interesting. Because purpose is an interesting story. And I believe that when we understand what purpose is, we can start to unravel the story of our lives. So when did Allah, when did God create purpose? So Allah says, Allah gifted each of our souls with talents. Allah says, let everyone work in accordance from what they were shaped into. It's written in the past tense. Allah puts something inside all of us to get to the truth. Not the truth of what this world is, but the truth of what we are as individual pieces of light that Allah had prepared. Allah created purpose when he created our souls, way before we were ever born. So for the non-Muslims that are here, as Muslims we believe that God created our soul and it remained in a place which we don't know, you could call it the world of souls, before it was sent down into our mother's womb. So the very fact that we are in this room and your heart has beat a million, millions of times means that we have a purpose. Now this leads us on beautifully to the next part which is, where does purpose come from? <coughs> not who, not when, but where does purpose come from? Throughout the history of time, mankind has desired to create and develop beauty. Cities, lands, music, art, landscapes, paintings, people, relationships. Where did that purpose, where did that desire come from? It 
comes from your soul. In Arabic, we say ruh. Because our soul was once in the company of Allah, it was in a state of perfection. So when mankind tries to develop and create magnificent and wonderful things, that comes from that desire that their soul was once in a state of perfection. So all of these wonderful and amazing things that you see in life, all that is, is everyone's soul trying to get back home. I'm going to use Malcolm X as an example, and I think Malik well, doesn't mind. Malcolm X had this purpose, this desire to make a positive change so that people weren't discriminated on their race or their nationality or their color. Your soul, everyone's soul, doesn't have a race, a color, or a nationality. So that purpose, that desire to make a change comes from within. SubhanAllah. We search for glory or purpose, but it lies within ourselves. How, uh, sorry, how do we achieve purpose? And that's another very complex question. How do we achieve purpose before we actually want to go and do something great in this world? How do we achieve it? In order to look for something, what do we need? We need light. Ibn Abbas said that, who was a companion of the Prophet Muhammad, he said that when you do good deeds, it brings light. Now what does that mean? That means that when you do good deeds, that lights up the path for you to do more and more and more. And those deeds can get bigger and bigger and bigger. But some of us don't allow ourselves to get that far. So the first thing that we need to achieve purpose is Allah's light. Because we are limited without Allah's light. I have a personal quote that I wrote a few months ago, and that is, you can't feel the sun with a locked heart. I'm going to go deeper, and I know I'm rushing, and I know this is quite deep, and some of you might be thinking, what's this guy on? But I'm going to go deeper. I'm going to go very, very deep. Ali Rabbi Allah said that we all have two minds. Okay. Ali radiallahu anhu said that we all have two minds. One of them was given to us at birth, and the other one we develop over time. So the first one which was given to us at birth is our soul. Now what does that mean? It means your soul <coughs> can think. And the second one is your brain, which you develop over time. When you heard the Quran at the start of this event, your body didn't start body popping because it's an amazing sound, because your body can't appreciate it. It can't think like that. But you enjoyed it because your soul can think and appreciate the sound. No matter how amazing and intellectual our brains can become, it's limited unless we think with our soul. And how can we make our souls think? I will leave that question to you. 
I will leave that question for you to search for. Because that search is limitless. So the story of purpose, who created it? God. When was it created? When your soul was created. Where does it come from within your soul and how do you achieve it with Allah's light and thinking with your soul? I hope I haven't messed up your mind. Um, so what's your purpose in life? And SubhanAllah, your purpose in life is already being created. You do not need to go and create a purpose for your life because God had created it many, many years ago. The greatness that you seek to fulfill, to achieve, has already been customized for you. It's been tailored for you many years ago. I would like to end this uh, moment with a, a quote. And uh, there's a few people in here and we're part of this uh, mastermind group. And within their group, I, I wrote this, this quote. And I think um, sharing that quote